Ladies and gentlemen, Bitwig Studio 5.1 is upon us. And there's a lot of really cool new features in here. I'm going to show you a handful of my favorite ones. If you make drum and bass or really any genre, these are some really cool tools that you should go check out. First one here is very simple. A lot of DAWs already have this, but for those who work with samples, a lot of audio clips, we can now just right click and normalize our audio. Hey, it's the little things, they add up. This is a really nice addition. Just speed up your workflows. Now there's also a bunch of new wave shaping devices in Bitwig Studio. And these are great for really adding some presence, some dirt to a lot of your sounds, way to make you know your drums stand out in the mix, get a little bit more perceived loudness. And you can also use it for you know, distorting the ever living heck out of some bases or anything of that nature. So there are a few ways to access these. One is by using the FX grid here, which I can use as an insert. And then if I go to shaper here, we'll see all of our wave shapers here. And here are some of our new ones, for example, heat here. So I can just plug my audio through that wave shaper and run it out. And it would sound like this if we apply it. Right, obviously we can get out of control with this. You know, we could bring in the Howl Wave Shaper instead. We have a bunch of new ones in here that do different things and sound differently. These are really great. I think typically on drums, you wanna be a little subtle with these, but really great addition to Bitwig as a native plugin to use. So I don't have to reach for something like a standard clip. Uh, though there may be still some times when I do that. Now, another way to access the Wave Shaper tools is through the new Filter Plus plugin. So this is kind of a two for one here. This filter device itself is new. It's really cool. It basically lets you slot a Wave Shaper and then feed that into a filter. And then in your filter, there are some new filter types in here as well. So what I could do is maybe let's say I just want to use a wave shaper and I don't want to use the FX grid. I could add the filter plus here, just turn off the filter. Now it's just using that wave shaper and we can come in here and use any of the wave shapers in Bitwig Studio. Uh, this is just an easier way to access this. Now, if we wanted to get crazy here, right, we could then enable this filter portion. And so we can mangle that audio as it comes in and then do some interesting things with some of the filters within here. cool device. Bitwig calls it a color box and I think that's a very fair assessment within here. So another fun device to add to your arsenal and mess around with. Now another way to play with this filter plus device is on your bases. So there's a lot of cool stuff we could do with this whether we just want to add some more presence uh, with a little bit of wave shaping or if we want to completely mangle that sound and you know modulate our wave shaper we could do that. So if we have a standard 808 Let's enable filter plus using just the wave shaper. And of course we could come in and reach for a different type. Maybe we want a little wave folder. Now let's go back to the push here and then I want to modulate this with a segment modulator here. And what I'm going to do is draw in a little M and we'll apply that modulation to the wave shaper.
So a lot of fun you can have just playing around with these things. Again, you can make it a very subtle way to add some clarity, depth to a lot of your sounds, help them cut through. You can also use it just to completely mangle things. And that's where that modulation capabilities that you have within Bitwig become really useful and valuable. And you can have a lot of fun with this. Now, the last thing I want to call out here is the mix view. And this is a view I use a ton. So I'll be arranging in the arrangement view here. Then I just want to check something in the mix, maybe grab a fader, uh, send something to an effect. I always press tab to flip back and forth. And you now have a lot more control over this mix view here. For one, the titles have been redone at the top here. So it looks a little bit different. In my opinion, it just looks a lot cleaner. And then I can come to the bottom here and I can grab this and just resize various portions on here. And I can also hide and show things. So for example, scenes and clip launching isn't something I use. So I have no need to see that on there. I can just get rid of it. And now we can see these big meters here up on our screen, right? I can do resizing here as well. And I can even start to do things like hide the device chain. I could hide the effects sends. I could hide the IO routing and just get a really clean picture here of my mix, the volumes. I have access to my faders, my panning. What more do I need from here, right? And then I can easily bring those things back in as needed, right? And still resize here. What I could also do is resize the individual tracks. So I can grab any of these, squeeze them out or the opposite, make them very thin. And this is helpful if you have a lot of tracks, and I think Bitwig struggled with this traditionally. If you have 20 plus tracks and you're on the mix screen like this, it, it's kind of a bit of a, a doozy to navigate. And especially I think you have drum machines like this with a bunch of tracks within. Well, I could then grab all the tracks within this drum machine and just make them smaller. Right, so very nice way to minimize, maximize things based on what you want to see. And then what I can also do is change values together. So if I select all of these tracks here, I can grab one fader here, bring it down, and it will do it for all of my selected tracks, as well as the opposite way. And I can also do that with panning and some of those other controls on there. So this is a Massive for me, candidly, I'm most stoked on this because I spend a lot of time in mixed view. Uh, it's just a pleasant place to be. When you have a good UI, you feel good and you do better work. So this thing's pretty sweet.